Hi, sweet friends, and welcome to my weekly Laundry vlog. Laundry for the week. I got four loads of clothes, so I'm going to get this started. I've been here in the craft room, and I put together my planner layout for the week. Super cute Minnie Mouse layout. Here are the products that I used. These two Happy Planner books. Some cardstock that I picked up at Walmart quite a few years ago and these four washi tapes the Minnie Mouse washi tape I did pick up at Daiso so I already had some things to fill in we're having family dinner on Monday on Tuesday I need to go buy stuff to make hamburgers Wednesday Elizabeth stay in the night so we're gonna make hamburgers over uh, next door at her popo's house on the plancha and uh, so I'm gonna make sure I have everything we need for that and he gave me $40 so to buy all the supplies that we need so I already have the list made out I've already uh, taken pictures of all my receipts and put those on the fetch app and started my new grocery list and a little to-do list so I have been busy here at the desk and then, last but not least, I wanted to give y'all a review on three drinks that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. This Caruso's Dark Cream Soda, I was not a fan of. It was kind of a flat soda, so I ended up pouring that out. The Spicy Ginger Craft Soda was delicious, and that was a repurchase for me. I really enjoy that. And then this Sparkling Ice peach and nectarine drink was not my favorite either i really enjoyed the raspberry one but the peach and nectarine just wasn't my favorite thought i would pop on and just show y'all how i have my bathtub organized with all my products i do enjoy using these home collection of products from the Dollar Tree. They are perfect for all things organization in the bathtub. The hooks I did get at Home Depot. I believe it was a four pack. And so I do use those. And then all the rest of these pieces did come from the Dollar Tree. It is Sunday, but it is late and I wanna get these clothes hung up and get a bath and sit down and relax for just a little bit before it's time to go to bed and start the work week so we'll get started on laundry first i hope everyone has had a great day a great weekend it has been pretty weather here in south texas and um, we have some bad weather coming. I think it is supposed to rain Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then the temperatures are supposed to drop again, which I'm not mad about because I need to get a lot of things done outside while it is still cool weather. So outside is my main goals right now. Because once it gets too hot out there, I do good to keep the grass mowed and the plants watered. I'm not much on outdoors. I want to get everything done in the springtime. And then we will just ride it out. You got to keep the plants alive and keep the grass mowed. Those two things are my summer goals. <sighs> it just gets too hot here in Texas to do much besides that. I can't just be out there just basking in the sun. It's too darn hot. I can't do it. And spring is such a short window here in South Texas that I have to be just highly focused on uh, what I want to get done 
and I have already started. I've shared with y'all the things that I've been working on outside. I need to do a little bit more. I need to do just a tidy up in my laundry room because it's not air conditioned. So I want to get that tidied up. Get the dog's bed changed out. Wipe things down a little bit. And I would like to And I would like to um, bleach the house. Last year we pressure washed it. And uh, actually my daughter's dad pressure washed the house for me because of my shoulder. And my shoulder's really not any better. So I think this year I'm just going to spray bleach on the, the vinyl siding. And let it sit overnight and then rinse it off. That works very well at cleaning the vinyl siding. And so I think that's just what I'm going to do. And... So I'm going to get that done. Some little bit of things in the backyard, but really don't have a lot. And then today we got the old refrigerator hauled off. So I'm going to do a little bit of tidying in the garage. Um, I did get all my little rags from the garage washed and ready to go back on the shelf. I just cut up t-shirts old t-shirts into different size rags some little some big and if they're if i can rewash them and reuse them i do if they get too greasy or something of course we can always just throw them away having these microfibers are also good to have so that's what we're doing outside and then, of course, after I get the house washed, then I want to decorate the porch. And I've been buying a few things uh, for the porch at the thrift stores and that. So, we get everything uh, decorated. But first and foremost is to get the house bleached. And then pull, because I'll have to pull everything off the porch. Bleach the house, wash it down, put everything back and get it decorated. So, there's that and then the only other thing that i had guys i really didn't have a lot to chat with i have been so busy trying to get so many things done but i did want to share with you two shows that i have been enjoying on netflix and the first one is called get organized with the home edit that is this company you see all these bins um that i purchased on clearance at walmart so I will be doing some organizing this company right here the home edit they um, are on Netflix and they do um, they, they come into people's houses and get them help them get organized so I got all these bins I want to use these in the kitchen I have two different kinds of bins in the kitchen and I really didn't like it when I did it but I didn't have another choice. So I want to use these bins there and get the kitchen tip top. And I want to get my new TV installed. So if you watch my Walmart haul, I did share with y'all more details on these. I did a Lowe's Walmart haul and I shared with y'all more details about the bins and I shared with y'all my new TV. So I'm going to get my TV hung and I want to get these bins switched out for my old bin so not really too much organizing the kitchen's already organized but just switching over to these new style organization bins so there's that and then the second um show that i have been enjoying is called tidying up with marie kondo so if you've heard of the um well, Marie Kondo had a book. It was called The KonMari Method. She developed that. I've seen other YouTubers use it in their house. I believe um, Love Meg uses that style when she's folding laundry. It's a certain way that you fold your clothes and, and put in your drawers and stuff. So I had never really looked into 
anything about this lady. I've just seen other, you know, people like me just sharing what they know about the KonMari method. And so I did not realize that she had a show on Netflix. So I have been watching her this past week. So those two organization shows, they're totally different methods. And um, I think they're both good. So I'm going to be incorporating a little bit. Um, well, I mean, I already organized pretty much like the home edit group does. I, I organize, um, I label, you know, each bin has got a different, like, whatever it is, snacks, baking supplies, whatever the, the bin is, that's what it has. So I already do that. Um so the home ed is just really confirmation for the way I already organized. But the KonMari method is really um, kind of a decluttering style of um, tidying up your home. Getting rid of things that don't bring you joy. So maybe I will incorporate some of that into my home. But I'm not going to do it right now. My main focus right now is outdoor. So that's it, guys. That is all for my laundry and chit chat. Thought I would turn on the TV and pop up Netflix and show y'all the two shows that I was talking about earlier in laundry and chit chat. This one I have pulled up here is called Get Organized with the Home Edit. They went to several celebrity homes. Just a few was Reese Witherspoon, Khloe Kardashian, Eva Longoria. They did uh, at least one other country music singer's home. And I can't remember who else, but this is a really good show. Help you get motivated to get your house organized. The show that I was suggesting for y'all is called Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. She does more of a declutter style of organizing. Maybe not even so much organizing, but really just tidying up your space, donating what you don't love, what doesn't spark joy to you. And then her shows are um, different scenarios. Like the top one is tidying up with toddlers, the second one deals with being an empty nester. The third one is a couple that downsized. The fourth one, you see the lady lost her husband. So she is needing to go through his things. And it's just a journey uh, for each of these different families and their different dynamics. So I think you would, uh, if you're interested in uh, decluttering and... Um, Tidying up, this is another good show that you might enjoy. Today is a lot chillier than it was yesterday. And so I'm getting ready to go to work and I wanted to uh, take the plants off of the porch, the ones that don't get any of the plants that live in this area. A little cart loaded down with all those plants that go in that area up underneath the porch. Um, this little cart is amazing. It makes moving these plants for the rain so much easier i did i put a few of my plants out there on the cement pad so everything can get a good rain shower to today. work this morning and the water had to be turned off in our office building so i came home to work from home so thought it would be a good opportunity to make me a very delicious salad for lunch so i cooked me some chicken nuggets this just bare lightly breaded chicken breast chunks add some cheese some broccoli I bought this chef salad and it's a little bit so of ranch. I am at home and I was able to, I guess, embellish my salad with some broccoli and some chicken and some good thick farm style cheese. I went ahead and just decided to use half of the salad mix and half of the ham and turkey that it came with. And then I can get two meals out of this $3.08 salad so i'll be eating salad again for supper got a little chilly here in south texas again so i had to go get out my my little fuzzy wuzzy pajama bottoms so i could come sit outside with oakley I usually try to sit outside with him a little bit in the afternoons even though i don't think he really cares if i'm out here unless he's eating then he wants me out here 
But like right now, he's totally ignoring me. We're outside this evening cooking a burgers on the grill. Granddaughter's come to spend some time with us. Her mama went to the Houston rodeo, so she's here and we're fixing to enjoy some good homemade hamburgers. We made half pound of burgers and we're cooking them on the Blackstone. I forgot to take the picture of the, the burgers on the grill, but here's what they look like and they are very delicious. I'm already working on eating Can't look them. yet. Okay, I'm not Wait a minute. Okay. Wait. Because your granddaughter is No, you ain't. I got a pussy real fast. Elizabeth's Popo got her a surprise, so she can't look yet. And he's flipping the burgers. If it's living, Two. No, if it's living, I'll be scared. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. It's her surprise. Or she would call it when she was little, her surprise. Surprise. Oh, I didn't know you were recording me. Oh, yeah. My mom told me something about this. She got her James Avery set that matches her mother's and her uncle's and her popos. They all have matching necklaces with uh, the James Avery charm. So windy. You can see that flag whipping around. It's cold and windy. I gotta come out here and pick up some plants that fell over. One of my ferns fell over in this gusty wind. Another a beautiful day here in South Texas. This is very chilly, but it is beautiful outside. If you have enjoyed this week's vlog, please give my video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Become part of my friends here on YouTube. And I will see each of you in my next video. Bye, guys.